Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, dear me. Happy birthday to me. Today's May 10th, um, and today is my birthday. Um, but more importantly than that, in 10 days, on May 20th, 2012, there's going to be a uh, annular eclipse, which is a full eclipse, but not quite the full eclipse as you're used to, okay? Um, it'll leave a ring of fire, so it's not going to cover the sun completely. There's going to be a ring of the sun left. The moon's going to cover everything but a small ring of the sun. And today, I'm going to teach you how to take a picture of that. And, um, you know, not everyone's going to get to see it, so, you know, depending on where you are in the world, you'll be able to get to p take a picture of it. But um, that's what I'm going to teach you. So, check it out. First off, we're going to go with safety, okay? Um, safety is very important, and there's a couple things I need to warn you about, okay? First off, do not look through your camera, um, through your camera's viewfinder or through your camera to, to find the sun in the sky, okay? Um, if you've ever had a magnifying glass and you, you know, use the sun and you put the sun through a magnifying glass, what happens is you focus the sun and a little projection of the sun goes on to whatever and burns it because the sun's a big ball of fire out there, okay? Um, you don't want that happening to your eyes, okay? So do not look through the lens at the sun, please. Uh, next is very related to the first one. Uh, do not shoot in like live mode. I wouldn't do it. I'm sure, you know, some people have or you can or you may be able to, but I would not shoot in live mode and look through my screen at the sun for the same reason as that sun. If you're focusing on the sun, uh, it's going to damage your, uh, your camera sensor, your, your, your uh, image sensor inside your camera. So I believe even in your manual, it's going to tell you, do not point this thing at the sun. Uh, do not expose, you know, over long periods of time at the sun. So don't do it because you could break your camera, okay? Um, just a fair warning out there. Uh, I took pictures with my camera at the sun uh, the other morning. If you can see right behind me, there's, some, there's a picture here. Um, I was practicing for the eclipse that's coming up. I was trying to get a, a sunflower to be my eclipse over there. So, um, but, um, you know, nothing happened to my camera. It's fine. I was shooting at a very high speed, which I'll teach you all about. But don't just shoot the sun and don't leave your camera open to like video record the sun. People have done it, but um, you know, uh, you know, if you want to, you know, it's, it's, it's on you. Cause I'm telling you, you might break your shit. Okay. So, um, you know, that's good. All right. And behind me, there's a map of, uh, where the eclipse is going to be traveling and where you can see it. And I'll, I'll make a link to the, to the map itself. Now, uh, basically in China, Japan, up through, um, the Northern parts of, um, California, Utah, Arizona, and, um, so even in Texas, in Texas, it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be setting. There's going to be a setting sun that's an eclipse in Texas, uh, New Mexico. So in all these places, if you're there, you're going to get a full eclipse. Uh, other places in the world, you're going to get a partial eclipse, which is still cool. So if you want to go out and take pictures of this thing, um, you know, what, what I really want is for people from all over the world to take pictures of this. I could teach you guys how to take pictures of it and then send me them so I could see what it looks like from all over the world. I want to get to where it's a full eclipse. Um, I'm going to have to do a little bit of traveling to get there, but... I still want to see it from however many angles I can. So however many, however many of you take pictures, that's a whole other angle I can see it from. I would love for you guys, what I want you guys to do is take these pictures and uh, email them to me or something so I could see them. And then I might even like put together a video of all the different pictures from all over the world of this eclipse and have like a cool video of, you know, just a bunch of different views of the, the annular eclipse. So check out the map, find out where you are. And then what you want to do is scout an area a day or two before um, before the actual eclipse and see exactly where the sun is going to be. If it's, if you're in Texas and you know, it's going to be at sunset, uh, this map will tell you exactly what time the eclipse is going to happen as well. So you can just find it. So if you're in a place where it's at sunrise or sunset, find a place where you can look out and see where it's going to be in the sky so that you know that you could set it with a cool background or you can have something there, uh, a, you know, a cool foreground or back. It's not gonna be a background to the sun, a cool foreground. Um, for the eclipse and then you know it's going to be you know make that make your picture that much better so um, yeah you know do that go out and scout your area or see you know where in the sky it's going to be so you can know that you know if you want to frame it with something that you can go ahead and frame the sun and make something really cool happen uh, besides the super cool eclipse so all right um, if you're using a telephoto lens to you know get a nice close big shot of the sun uh, like I said do not look through the lens um, also uh, use a tripod okay so use a tripod so that when you do stabilize your your camera with a you know with, with the sun in, in your frame uh, that you can you can set it so you're not constantly having to look through it. Uh, to find the sun, uh, set up your camera on the tripod 
and then have something behind it that's going to have the shadow of the camera on it, okay? And so the shadow of the camera will be on a surface. Well, when the sun's going through, your eyepiece is going to send a light through, and so you'll see the picture of your, you'll see the shadow of your camera with light going through the, the viewfinder. That means the sun's passing through your camera. So that's how you find it in the sky without looking through or using your live view. Um, so set it on a tripod, move it around a little bit, just experiment, and it'll come through. It's, it sounds harder than it is. Um, you know, I, I look at the stars and I look at the, uh, the moon through a telescope. Way harder to find it through a telescope. If you just use the shadow, which, you know, of the sun, it'll work and you'll get it, okay? Uh, but use a tripod. Stabilize your camera so that when you do find the sun, you can keep it in there. And then use minor motions, you know, to keep to keep pace with it as it's moving through the sky. Well, it doesn't move as the world turns around the sun, okay? So that's what you need to do is, you know, use a tripod. If you do not have a tripod or a telephoto lens, worry not. Uh, just hold it like this, look down, and have the, have the camera shadow on your chest. And when you see that little thing in there, you know. And you can move it around. Not only, don't just use that. When you take a picture, look at the, at the frame, look at the frame in the actual shot and see where the sun is in the frame and then reposition it by just moving slightly, okay? So, you know, when you're finding the sun, you know, your initial way to find it is through that little, the little light coming through. Then just use your, you know, your camera's data that it shows you, a picture, and, uh, and then reposition it to, to format or to frame it in the way that you want to compose the picture. That's what I was looking for, to compose it correctly. So then, you know, do your composition by looking at the thing, find it by looking, by seeing the light pass through the camera, and then, you know, snap away and snap away. Uh, one thing you want to do is focus to where uh, the sun is going to be. So uh, it's going to be off in infinity. So, you know, put your focus to infinity and then take a picture. And then uh, if it comes in wrong, crank it the whole other direction and see if, you know, if you're on the right side of your focusing uh, wheel. Um, also, if you're going to have something in the foreground, uh, I found it very interesting when I took my pictures that I was talking about. Uh, these pictures here uh, to actually be focused on the subject being the sunflowers. I had some with the sunflowers in focus, some with the sunflowers out of focus, and I like the ones with the sunflowers in focus. It just gave the picture a lot more personality. But, um, you know, you know, do what you want to do. Change your focus as it goes. Uh, I don't think that the eclipse is going to last any more than a few minutes, so um, it could be less, you know. Um, so, you know, shoot a lot. Shoot a lot. Change your, your focus if you want to, and just make sure that you get a good shot by, you know, shooting a bit. Um, you know, the situation's going to change, okay? The, the sun's going to be there, but it's going to get covered up. So it's going to change the lighting situation. It's going to change the, the situation. You know, it's going to go very quick. So you have to be ready to change with the situation um, and to make the best pictures as you go. So constantly look at your, at your camera's picture that's coming back and adjust accordingly. Another thing you can do is uh, bracket your shot. So set your camera so that it takes three pictures for every time you press the button. It's going to shoot boom, boom, boom. And it's going to shoot one. And then it's going to shoot one overexposed and one underexposed. And so... As you change your exposure, this thing is going to also compensate for you in two different directions. So you're going to get your shot plus two more, uh, one higher, one lower exposure. And then later on, you know, you'll find one that works out great, or you can do an HDR picture or any of that stuff. But um, bracket. If you like to use uh, UV filters to, um, you know, protect your lens or whatever you're, whatever you're using them for, um, take it off. I know it's weird. Take off your UV filter to shoot the sun. But um, take it off because it's going to take away one more layer of glass that the sun can reflect off of. Because you, uh, if you're not looking directly at the sun, you're going to get flare. So if the sun's even a little bit out of you know, the center of your frame and it's over here or there, you're going to get um, flare from each layer of glass. So that just takes off one layer of, of flare. So um, you know, take off your UV filter. Uh, as far as settings go for my shots, um, I used f45, which is the smallest aperture I could get. Um, and I use the fastest speed my camera would go, which is one weight, one eight thousandth of a second. Okay, so um, that was so that to you know to drop the intensity of the sun's light, and also because I wanted that focus, because I had something in the foreground. I wanted the sun to be in focus and the sunflower to be in focus. So uh, the f45 was great for that. Um, another thing you can do is use uh, neutral density filters, and I'm sure those will work out fine. Uh, you know, you'll cut down you'll cut down the light because when you're shooting into the sun, it's like the brightest thing. It's like the brightest thing. Um, it's this giant ball of fire. It's like 900 million times the size of Earth or something. But anyhow, <laughs> um, you know, it's big. It's big and it's bright and it's the brightest thing that, you know, you can point your camera at. And uh, you're going to have to cut down that light. So neutral density filters will work out great for you if you want to not use the fastest shutter speed for whatever reason or if you want to not use the uh, highest aperture, okay? But if you don't have those things, like I don't have those things, um, just, uh, you know, set your camera to as fast as you can go with as small as, uh, you know, aperture as you can, 
um, and then check it and shoot. And if it's too dark, then, you know, you know how to brighten it up. Um, you know, open up your aperture, slow down your shutter speed. Um, so, you know, do that, check it out, put your camera on ISO 100, um, you know, and, and then see what it looks like, shoot it. And, you know, when this thing's going, it's going to be dynamic. It's going to be in motion again. So you are going to have to adjust on the go. Um, shower slow slower shutter speeds uh, will be, you know, when it starts getting darker, when the sun starts getting covered, you might want to slow down your shutter speeds, but you might not because that ring of fire is going to be there. And, you know, to get that same effect that you were getting of the sun before it did, you know, but you just have to play it by ear. I haven't shot one of these things. This is all, you know, it's theoretical on what I was practicing before, but, you know, it's going to work and I'm going to get it to work. It's gonna, I'm going to work it and you better work it too, okay? And then let me see your workings. Um, but, you know, like I said, those are my settings. Uh, Eight thousandth of a second, F45, ISO 100. I was actually on 400 like a jerk because I forgot to change it. And when, I did it at sunrise, but this is going to be happening at sunset, uh, the, the thing, the lunar and solar eclipse. So anyhow, um, for whatever reasons, I left my ISO a little higher than it should have been. I could have dropped it down and then had more play with, you know, making the, the picture darker. But, um, you know, do what you can. Even, even practice on the sun, you know, like I said, at sunrise or sunset. And, and just get some pictures of the sun, and, and they're awesome. They're awesome shots. Since you're most likely going to be shooting at a uh, at a very small aperture, what you're going to want to do is clean your sensor um, before you go out and shoot these shots, because with a low aperture, all your dust is going to show up. I I, I I made that mistake myself with these pictures, but it's cool because I can then change them for my real the real deal shots. Okay, so that's what a good thing about going out and doing some practice shots is that you get to see you know some real live effects. Mine dust. Uh, so I need to clean my sensor before I go out and shoot this eclipse, and you should too. This is the first annular eclipse in the U.S. in over 18 years, so or just about 18 years. So uh, get out there and shoot it, my fellow U.S. aliens, and uh, you know we'll see we'll see what you guys get, and then all the people on, in Japan and China, my fellow Earthlings, um, you know get your shots too, and uh, you know I would love to see them. I want to see everyone's shots from every words. And the people in the Pacific Islands or in the, the island chains that this is going to pass over. I don't know if there's any out there, but, you know, all you island folk, get some too. So shoot however you like. I know I said all these different things on here. If there's anything that you don't like, like always, uh, do it your way right away, okay? So don't worry about what I say if you, if you think that you shouldn't be on a tripod or you think you shouldn't clean your sensor for whatever reason. Whatever you decide uh, to do that, that differentiates from what I say, then go ahead and do it your way. I'm not offended. Um, but I'd still like to see your picture. Um, also, uh, have fun. So have fun. Shoot it your way. Let me see what you got. I'll let you see what I got. Um, and like I said, you know, find somewhere cool to shoot it. I would like to go to the Grand Canyon to shoot it, and that's a bit away, so I have to raise a little bit of money. Okay? And, uh, you know, if you'd like to donate to my trip, go ahead and go to my donation page. I'm going to put a link to it somewhere. I'll write it down or something and put a link or how, however I got to do it. Uh, but check it out. Donate for my trip, and um, there's some cool rewards there if you if you become a donor to me. All right, but anyhow, um, I love you, and uh, you know, check out the world. This solar eclipse, don't let it pass you by. I don't know when the next one's gonna happen, but um, you know, they're rare and they're beautiful. I've never seen one in real life myself, but I assume they're beautiful, and I'm gonna shoot this one. So, um, you know, don't shoot the moon, shoot the sun with me. All right, so take care. See you next time. Peace. I feel so close to you right now.